Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Austin Code Cipher. And uh, in today's video, we are going to be creating a sticky header on scroll event. So when a user scrolls on your page, first you will meet this header having your website name, some slogan. So when he scrolls down, the rest will continue scrolling up, but the header will be fixed as in the navigation bar will be fixed in one place so that's what we are going to be creating because mostly these modern websites nowadays normally use this function and what we are going to be using is html css3 so and jquery this javascript library so i will pause the video go and delete all the code behind the scenes and start afresh so behind the scenes i went ahead and cleared all the code so when i refresh this we shall be having some empty web page so we are going to start coding it from scratch so let us first design the header and here this header i gave it the class of header so to target it in our CSS I'm using internal so dot header I will set the background color background to be yellow save this that's what we are having then I will set its height to 200 and this is important as we shall see in the next steps then i set the text alignment text align will be centered and that's where the stuff will be now inside this header I'm having h1 and h3 so I will target h1 like header and I'll target h1 I'll send so I will increase this size of the h1 by 39 points font size 39 points far that's good then i'll set the margin to zero so that will move this white space up So that's okay now then I'll set the line height to 100 pixels very good then I guess that's it for the header that's all we need now let us work on these paragraphs as you can see the paragraphs are being covered by the header and when you scroll the header also goes with the content on the body so in our html i wrap these paragraphs in a class in a div and i gave that div a class of para so i will say the para I said they are padding I'll set the padding to 10 pixels if I don't see the effect then I give the max width of 800 pixels
So as you can see, they have left some space here. We gave them the maximum width of 800 pixels. So to center them, I was imagine and say zero auto 20 pixels. Save this, and this is what we have. But still, our first paragraph has been wrapped on this header on this navigation bar. So in our HTML, still we gave the first paragraph a plus of para one. So we shall select it. Also, that's a dot para one. Then set its margin top, margin top to like 90 pixels. And that's great. Then we are done with the body, the header, the paragraph. So it's time to work on this navigation to be sticky when we scroll up. After finishing that. After finishing this header of 20 pixels, the height of 10 pixels, so it should be stuck here and the rest of the paragraphs go under it. So we go in our jQuery, we have in the document, document.ready function telling the browser do not execute any code that will be inside here before the browser or the code is ready. So, since we are targeting the window, we shall say dot window dot scroll. So, when it's scrolled, write the function so when it's scrolled, what should happen then? We set a condition statement if dollar sign this so if this window is scrolled so it's what we are targeting if this it is scrolled up dot scroll so you say top when you scroll at the top and it's greater than 200 <coughs> so this 200 it is the height we gave to the header here if they scroll and they reach these perimeters the 200 pixels it's going to make this code be executed so when it's greater than this height the 200 pixels this is what we want to happen. We want it to call the menu. So inside here, I write menu. Which menu is under the unordered lists? So we gave the unordered list of the class menu. It's what we shall put here. And we say add dot add class and this class will be called fixed now this class we have not yet created it so since we have told the browser to add this class fixed we go in our CSS we say dot fixed We set its position to fixed, set top to 0 pixels, left 0 pixels, and we shall set its width to 100%.
so we have finished that when they scroll up they should add this class fixed so else then copy this else when they leave that class they remove or remove they remove class fix so when they scroll to this height of 200 pixels they should add this fixed class which we created here when they reach that area they should add this fixed class but else if they leave it they remove the class of fixed so let's try to see if what we have written is correct as you can see our code is now running properly that's it now imagine you change the height this side let me say in a jQuery you put 100 pixels yet the height the original height of this header is let me check it out original height is 200 pixels so it will make this navigation bar to jump before reaching that said height as you can see it jumps when it reaches that 200 or 100 pixels you set to it so for it it will jump and meet this condition yet it's not yet done with the header and jump to the top so it's better you set the same perimeters here and also the same perimeter here in the height so save this so it will be executed the moment it reaches it finishes the height of the header so that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you understood everything if you have not understood please go ahead pause the video and copy the code or follow step by step I remain yours, Austin Code Cipher. I'm out. So, this is the code. If they reach the 200 pixels, they had the class of fixed, which is here. Else, when they leave that class, they remove it.